What are you guys doing all the way down here? You guys found my broken sewer pipe. Hey you guys, how you doing? Um, it's not a very fun day. Well, I guess it's not too bad actually. Uh, sewer pipe broke. And so I'm adding clean outs so I can actually clean it out. It's an old house that doesn't have uh, clean outs. And so the only way to clean out the sewer is to take a toilet off. And we've had to do this a couple times now. It's not fun. So this video is gonna be how to install clean outs. Um, it's pretty straightforward even though it sounds Kind of scary so yeah let's get into it and if you want to see more stuff like this uh kind of diy um real estate investing kind of financial betterment of things whether it's a sewer pipe or your finances um yeah subscribe and i have a lot of stuff in store for the youtube channel so all right so first of all is digging the hole so how do you know where your sewer pipe is. Well, uh, if you have no idea, you should probably call a company, have them scope it, and they can locate it for you. They can send down a little thing uh, with the camera, and they have a little wand where they go out in the, your yard, and they identify where the sewer is. And they, you can put a cone there, you can put a flag, whatever. Um, that's a surefire way of figuring out where your sewer line is. If you uh, wanna risk it and just start digging, a good place to dig is next to your house where you see the largest uh, vent coming out the roof on my house that really wouldn't have got me very far because um, it's kind of in the middle of the house hard to tell where the sewer comes out i happen to know that my sewer goes out to the alley and we had it scoped a few years ago and um, we have a reading on where it hits the main uh, in the alley uh, as far as um, on the property line. So basically just by drawing a line from where in their crawl space where you see the sewer come out the uh, foundation to there. Um, and I just started digging right where that that line is. I kind of missed a couple times. That's why the hole's a little bit bigger than it should be, but uh, eventually you'll find it. You should really dig at least three feet deep to make sure you hit it because typically they're at least three feet deep. Mine's a little shallow and I'm looking at um, about 32 inches. So now that you've found your sewer and you've dug it up and you want to install these clean outs, um, what do you do? So you need a little bit of space. So you need to expose probably about four feet of pipe um, to install the clean outs, have enough room to work down there. And really just a couple hundred bucks in parts. I think um, I think I got footage of me at Lowe's buying this stuff. No special deals, no nothing like that. I think it was like 180 bucks. And so, other than the blood, sweat, and tears you put into it, it's fairly cheap to install cleanouts. And cleanouts, I'm doing a two-way cleanout with two separate cleanouts, um, so I can clean towards the house, up into the house, and out to the the city. Now here we have my setup for my cleanouts that I'm going to do. So just need to put a, a little bit of pipe here, and we can glue these in here. And then obviously this goes up. Um, to the grade and so this one will clean out this direction this one will clean out this direction and I'm just connecting it to the cast iron pipe with these couplers so I got one there one there and my extra pipe over here so yeah, it's a fairly easy process if you've ever glued PVC together um, this is as easy as it gets because you build it you build it all outside of the hole up on your patio or deck or whatever wherever the hole is and uh, build it, make sure it's all straight and nice, and measure uh, how long it is. Cut the cast iron pipe, slide it right in with the couplers already on, because you're not gonna be able to get the couplers on. Uh, make sure you have enough room for that. And then, uh, yeah, install it, slide the couplers on, make sure it's level, so your pipes aren't coming out in, at an angle. And yeah, that's that, so let's, uh, let's do that.
the sun is going down quick so I got to get this finished but as you just saw I assembled the um, dual clean out so ignore that mishap where I spilled all of the primer all over the place so basically yeah got the clean out right here so the only thing left which I'm gonna actually do after I install this is to make extensions um, with the clean outs up to grade where the dirt is and then put these caps on so they can you know access them and they can be sealed off so two of those um, so just basically what's left um, is those two pipes to go from the both clean outs up to grade um, gluing those on and then gluing the caps on top and that's the rest of the gluing it's really not that much maybe buy more than this I had already used this a lot but this little can yeah it's gonna be empty by the time I'm, I, I actually don't even know if I'll have enough so maybe buy a little bit bigger of a can for this big four inch pipe I'm, I'm doing four inch by the way which is pretty standard for uh, sewers anyway so now I have to measure this cut out the cast iron which unfortunately I think I'm gonna have to dig a little bit more out because this is a little wider than I was expecting and uh, then once it's cut out I just plop it down there so these little couplers this is what attaches the PVC to the cast iron and so you see on these I had to have this this amount of stub out so that I can slide the coupler sorry you can't see that I can slide the coupler all the way on and then slide it into place and then slide the coupler halfway onto the cast iron so that's really the only way to do that you can probably pre-install the the couplers onto the cast iron pipe but I don't know one of my directions there's a flange there so I can't really scoot it anymore and the other direction I just would have to dig a whole lot more if I needed to do that plus that cast iron pipe's been in the ground for uh, about 85 years and so it would take a lot of nice cleaning to get it to where your coupler would slide right over so uh, I think the PVC method is the right way to do so yeah couplers sl slid over the PVC on both ends you drop it down measure it cut the cast iron drop it in slide the couplers tighten the couplers uh, there you go that's what it is so let's continue So I'm here in this hole, this lovely sewer hole. Got the pipe out, as you guys saw. And now all there is to do is basically clean up the ends of the cast iron um, to where the flange will go, which is, I, I have four inch flanges. So, well, yeah, four inch diameter, but by four inches uh, long. And so I need to clean at least two inches, make it nice and clean because the only thing it's going to be sealing at is the clamping pressure against the rubber. And so the cleaner it is, the better it'll seal. 
And so yeah, I kind of have one side done. Um, and I kind of found my problem, which is really weird. My house was clogged, uh, looks like from where I am to the house, which is only maybe 12 feet. So that's where my clog is because there's hardly any water coming out of here and in the house it's still backed up, unfortunately. So yeah, a um, little quick tip with cutting cast iron. They do make blades and I, I had my wife get me one um, at the last minute. So I already cut through one side of the uh, cast iron and halfway most of the way through the other side before uh, she came home with a diamond uh, blade for a sawzall meant for cutting cast iron or marketed towards that you could cut other stuff too and it it seemed to do really well so if you're going to cut through cast iron bare minimum get a metal cutting sawzall blade um, but you should really probably just buy a diamond uh, grit uh, blade because it worked a lot better so here we go here's what's going on here just got to clean these out so there you can see the nice roots so all you do is clean out around here get the cast iron looking nice and good and then we can install right there and there So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so my pipes are all cleaned up. I'm ready to slide this down and hopefully it fits if I measured right. But we need the, these couplers to be pre-installed. And then we need to know how much to scoot it over onto the cast iron so we're not like biasing one pipe or the other a bunch because then we could have ceiling problems. Man, my neighborhood's really loud right now. Four inches. And so we want to center that. So we want two inches two inches on the PVC, two inches on the cast iron. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna make a little mark so I know where two inches is. <clears throat> and so that way I know how far the coupler needs to be uh, pushed onto the cast iron so that I have half cast iron, half PVC. Installed clean out so it wasn't too bad at all that was actually the first time I've ever done that um, done some plumbing in the past but nothing like that and man the hardest part by far was just digging the hole um, so if you feel like you want to tackle that job yourself you really don't need m much skills um, watch a couple YouTube videos on how to um, glue PVC together um, take a trip to Lowe's and start digging and that's all it takes a couple quick tips that i think might be useful if you do this one to cut cast iron really try and find one of those diamond grit blades or at least a carbide grit blade it should say on there meant for cutting cast iron um, and if you can't find one of those at least get you a couple metal blades uh, it took me probably five minutes straight to cut through that pipe uh, cast irons a pain so just be aware of that, but it, it's doable. Just get a nice sawzall and zip it off. The next thing is make sure you know where your pipe is. Um, you can dig and kind of try and find it like I did. I ended up having to dig way too far one way, couldn't find it. 
dug a little bit the other way, found it right there. So it was a lot of extra digging, uh, but it helps a lot and saves a lot of time if you know where your pipe is. At least an educated guess. Go down to your basement, your crawl space, try and locate where the, um, the main plumbing drain goes out of the foundation um, and maybe call the city and have them uh, check uh, it, around here. It's the call before you dig. I think it's 811 and they come out and they spray where your lines are. Um, that go out of your property. So then you have two points to kind of tell you where that line is just as an educated guess And the last thing is just uh, know that if your plumbing is backed up and you want to install these so you can clean it out Like say maybe you don't have a clean out like I didn't um, and I didn't want to pull the toilet again and have them come in on my nice marble tile and just ruin it um, like that almost happened last time so that's why I did this just know that if your plumbing's backed up once you cut that pipe, it could just start flowing gallons and gallons and gallons of water. So just keep that in mind. Thankfully, I got lucky and my, my blockage was actually in between the clean out in the house, that like 12 feet right there. And so it actually blocked it. So when I cut that pipe out, it was just barely dripping. So uh, just keep that in mind though, because that probably would not be fun. I don't even, I don't even want to know what that uh, would have been like. All right, well, that's it, I guess. Um, hopefully that was a quick informative video and it encouraged you to do it yourself if you're thinking about saving thousands of dollars uh, just doing it yourself yeah go for it um, I guess the worst that can happen is uh, you can't figure it out and you got to call the people anyway and then they don't charge you to dig if you already dug the hole and you know whatever so yeah and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and leave a comment or whatever. I, I hate having to say that, but it's just the nature of YouTube. And yeah, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I do have a lot of content coming about real estate investing um, and just kind of betterment of, of things in general. So that's kind of what my channel I want it to be about. How do you better your finances? How do you better yourself? How do you better um, the house you built? Uh, whatever so a bunch of DIY stuff but not necessarily physical material DIY stuff yeah so thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time <laughs>